This is Jessica Sweetwater Stitcher and today is Thursday, December 15th. Thank you for coming back. If you are new, welcome. And if you're returning, thank you again for visiting my channel. I hope you guys have had a great week. I hope that you've gotten a lot of stitching done and I can't wait to share today with you what I've been up to. So I do not have any previous finishes and I don't have any finishes today, but I have some stitching to share and I have some um, of really, two really sweet gifts that I received and a teeny tiny bit of haul. Um, but I wanted to go ahead and let you know, I've already posted about this, but I, along with Holly, who is at Mrs. Jones Stitches, we are going to be doing a stitch along with Big Hearted Tiny Town. And it is going to be starting on January 6th. And we will both be attending the Annabella's Retreat with Primrose Cottage. And we plan to start it at the retreat. So if you're coming to the retreat and you're interested in joining us, bring it with you and we'll all start it together at the retreat. And if you're not, just follow along, post your pictures on Instagram and Facebook with the hashtag, hashtag Big Hearted Sal, and we can all follow along together. But I am planning to use all the called for colors and I am stitching it on 32 count covered bridge by Legacy fiber arts and this is what it looks like together so i'm really excited about this and i know holly is as well she hasn't pulled her colors or she hadn't when i talked to her the other day but i am sure she's probably going to be pulling some color and cotton um to go with this it has some really fun pinks um in the pattern so stay tuned for her colors and what she picks so that was the first thing I want to talk about. Also, if you don't follow Holly, who's at Mrs. Jones Stitches, she has Instagram and she also has a YouTube channel. So go over and follow her as well. Um, I also wanted to talk about the coming weeks. I will have some pre-recorded videos. Um, this week on Friday is my son's last day of school before the holidays. And then also my daughter today was hers. So I'm going to pre-record a few videos, one of which will be a planning for 2023 video, show you how I organized my plastic bins that have the months on them I posted a picture of and people were interested. Um, and I was gonna share that anyways, but um, I'll talk about that. I'll talk about kind of what my plans are for 2023 and show some of how I've started planning. And then I will also have a video packing for the retreat. So what I'm bringing and kind of getting ready to go because I will be going the following week to the Annabella's retreat in West Palm. So I'll have two fun videos within those videos. Also, I will have some giveaways. So if you're interested, make sure to tune in and watch those videos. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and just get into what I worked on because like I said, I don't have any finishes. I was kind of in a weird stitching mood. I feel like I'm getting over stitching Christmas, even though I love Christmas stitching, but I just wanted a change. So I was stitching on Santa Stops Here by Brenda Gervais, and I was able to get some of the berries in on the border, the roof and the window, and a little bit of the mortar. So I think what I'm going to do is when I get back to this, I'm going to finish trying to stitch the windows and the doors, and then I can go in to do the mortar of the house. But it's a little bit hard counting just doing the mortar. Um, so we'll see, but I really like the pattern, but I just, I don't know. I wasn't really in the Christmas stitching mood, but that's the bag from Como Stitches. And then last weekend, I went to my LNS, which is Needle Orts in Altamont Springs, and I purchased fibers to go with my canvases that I had bought from That Salty Stitch, who was featured on Carrie Tiger Lily's um, 
12 days of stitch mess. So they helped me to pick out some fibers. They helped me mount it on a um, frame. So this is where I got on this one. This is the whole piece, which is so pretty. And then um, that's what I've done so far. They were also super helpful in telling me a few different stitches, some ideas of what I could do, how I could do like a pattern in the background. Um, so I'm having fun playing. It's something different. It's You're still using thread, but you're following the canvas instead of this is your pattern instead of having a separate pattern. And it just to switch things up, but I still, love my cross stitch, but this is a fun other type of activity, I guess you could call it. So I was having fun working on that. And I also decided to work on this, which is from Teresa Kogut's Patreon from this month. And I am stitching this, but I'm not going to stitch the winter at the bottom. So I'm just gonna stitch this and the snowman. And I converted this into color and cotton. So this is my, where how far I got, and then these are my colors. So I just started at the top. I am stitching this on 32 count charcoal linen. And I love how it looks, I love the colors. So I'm excited about this. And I'm not really a big snowman stitcher, um, but I really liked this one, so I wanted to, to get it started. And this will take me into January um, kind of stitching. So that'll be good. And then I yesterday, I just wanted something bright and cheerful and I didn't end up starting this. I just kind of took a break last night and watched a movie on um, TV and but I, I'm ready to get back to do some stitching today. So I decided to pull out this joyous or Oh Joyous Day by Blackbird. And I am using I switched out two of the reds and this is where I have gotten so far. And then I am will work on this this week. But I thought this was really pretty, cheerful, bright, bright-ish, I guess you could say. I think it's bright because it's on the white, um, but I'm excited to get back to that. So that's one thing I'm gonna work on. And then I have had this in my stash for a while. I have all had all the colors and I had linen to stitch it on. And this is by Margaret Ferguson by Hands Across the Sea. And the yellow flowers are just so bright and cheerful and I just love everything about them. So I pulled this, I got all my stuff out. I already had everything so I didn't have to buy anything. Um, this is the colors. I'm just using the DMC. I even had it all on floss tags, ready to go. And then I am using, I think this is flannel flower or something I whatever it's by um fox and rabbit but I love this together I've uh, also seen someone using thornfield by needle and flax which is really pretty um so I may or may not start that I'm not really sure but I put both of those projects in this project keeper from Carrie so I can carry this around um, and I think this is what I'm going to be working on this week. And I might also work on uh, Santa Stops Here as well, if I'm in the mood for something Christmassy. So go back and try to get some more done on that. Um, all right, so I received this week also two very sweet gifts. This actually I got before this week, but I opened it this week. I am in the sampler guild of the rockies and where there was an ornament exchange and i participated and my the person who sent to me sent me this amazing strawberry and this awesome ornament and i love it so much 
and the back looks like this. It's so pretty with the little jingle bell. But I want, I don't have this pattern and I would like, it's a Brenda Gervais and I wanna get it so I can stitch the other one and have them together, but so pretty. I love it so much, thank you. And she also had sent a few charts um, to keep or give away and two of them I have, so I will use those as giveaways and then a couple of them I've actually been wanting, so thank you so much. And then I received another very nice gift from Carrie at Tiger Lily Designs, her cute card. And this came on a day that I, it was nice to get some happy mail. Um, so this cute little, I think this is to put on a bottle or like a topper. So cute. And then this is so pretty and so sweet, but she made this cute needle book with vintage stitching, pocket, belt, and some scissors, and then some chocolate and tea. And I'm so excited to use this. I've been keeping it in here to share, um, but thank you so much again, Carrie. I've already messaged you, but thank you so much. So that was really sweet of you. All right. So I have a teeny bit of haul, um, but one of them is something I've been looking for everywhere and finally found. Um, this I saw, this is Dasher and Dancer by Hobby House Press. And I saw this chart in the Country Sampler newsletter and they had changed the color, which I'm going to look around in my stash and see if there's a color I'd like to switch it to. This is Mulberry, um, but I'm thinking like more of a muted greenish gray, which is kind of what they picked. Um, and if I can't find what I like, I'll probably order the kit from Country Sampler. But I just thought this was really pretty. It's monochromatic. Um, so I am debating to st start this on Christmas or I might just save it for later um, in the year. But I just thought it was really pretty. Um, it's, I just really liked it. Um, also, these I got from Inspired Needle, which I uh, heard about on Brenda and Laura's video last weekend. And Laura was talking about them. And I was like, I'll just go look at their shop online. And I went over there and I found they had Abbey Rose designs. And I have been looking for this pattern everywhere. Every time I go to find it, it's gone, it's sold out, or someone's bought it off Stash Unload. So I finally found it. This is number one in the Patriotic series, and this is Long May She Wave. And I have wanted this pattern for a while. So I was excited to find this. And then I also found this, which is Liberty Lane. And I, they kind of go together, so I figured I could stitch them together. But for sure, I will be working on this this year. This is a maybe, we'll see. Um, but I was so over the moon thrilled to find this. Um, so I was excited about that. Also, I'm very excited about the Plum Street releases and I am anxiously awaiting this happy morning to come and that's gonna be one of my 12 by 12 starts if it shows up, so hopefully it will. Um, okay, that leads me to talk about 12 by 12 a little bit. Um, 12 by 12 was started with uh, by Kia from Kia B and Pam with Just Keep Stitching, and they did it last year, and Kia on her channel has a video uh, going into more detail about it, and I will link the video below, and I will remember to do it this week. I forgot last week. Um, but go check her out if you're interested in it. But the premise is you pick 12 whips or starts, or you can have a mixture of both, and the, you stitch on each one of the 12 for one hour between 12 noon and 12 midnight. So I have picked 12 starts, and my starts are things I want to be working on like in January, February, March. So kind of pre-starting them and then I'll be able to pick them up 
when I want to work on them um, up until market time kind of is what I planned. Most of them are smalls. There's one, well, this happy morning is on there. And then I think that's the only larger one. There might be one more that's larger, but um, so I will be doing that. I will be posting on New Year's Eve what I'm working on. So if you're interested in that, um, head over, check out her video and she has many more details. And then someone told me that Pam was talking about it on their video from this past week. So I still need to go watch that, but um, go check out Just Keep Stitching as well and they talk about it. Also, I will be releasing next Thursday a video on my planning, which I talked about. I will be going into more detail on what's in my boxes that I have all the months on and kind of how I'm going to tackle the new year as far as my stitching, how I'm making decisions and things like that. I will also share a little bit of my planner, which I did get two new pages for. Um, Katie, the naptime stitcher, she created these, which are vertical, um, like daily pages. And she also has some social media pages she put out there in her shop. Um, and so I'm going to be using those and I just started playing around with them for now, but I'm going to be using those in my planner. And this is what I've come up with so far. Um, kind of more like a journaling. So I put the whole week and this is for this week. And what I'll do is on between the two pages, I will put highlights of things that happened during the week. So for example, I organized my um, year for next year. So I took a picture of that and I'll print that out on my sprocket and I will put it in here. I will probably put a picture of this Oh, joyous day, maybe Santa stops here because I've worked on those this week. Um, and then I'll write some stuff in here. I will show this in more detail on my planning video, but I will, what I, how I will use this is I won't put like on Monday, I did this. On Tuesday, I did this. I'll just kind of on both of the pages, put things that I did throughout that whole week. Then in another place, I will put specifically, what did I stitch on Monday? What did I stitch on Tuesday? And that um, kind of tracking. So it'll be used in two different ways. And excuse me, and then this portion, which is just the whole monthly calendar, this I will use more in the way of planning out. Like on the fourths of each month, I'd like to get back to flags on the fourth. On the 25th, I'd like to stitch a Christmas. So I'll try to write some of those things in on here so that I remember on those days, that's what I wanna work on. Um, Cause I have a lot going on, which I know it's hard to believe uh, with the, my three kids, but I just, I want to remember what I, kind of what my plan was. Um, so again, these are the pages from the nap time stitcher, Katie and um, Go check her Etsy shop out. She has lots of stuff. So next Thursday, I will be pre-recorded. I'll have all that stuff in there. I will have some giveaways within the video. So make sure if you're interested in that to watch the video. And then the following week, as I said, I'll have like a get ready with me video. And then it will take us to, then I think it's the first week of January. Or it might be another week. I don't remember. So I may or may not be coming back to you before I go to the retreat, but um, we'll see how what happens. I have a couple other things to share. One, I wanted to remind everybody that on the Etsy shop, Sheba Designs, you can use the code SWEET15 to get 15% off bags through December 22nd. Also, my code for subscribers for 10% off, you can use at Stacy Stitches Creative Studio. So uh, just a reminder about those. And then I also wanted to share, this came up yesterday, and I know she said 
she was shipping uh, charts to shops already. But Becca with Sambray Stitches, and she has um, a YouTube channel as well. She has some great interviews with floss tubers. So check those out and her regular videos are great. She also um, has been doing reproductions, reproducing um, vintage samplers and some original work. And this popped up last night as an um, reproduction and I will be purchasing this as soon as I can find it. Um, so she said she's shipping them out so they should be arriving soon at shops. But this is called the Yeti Sampler. Um, it is amazing. And she stitched it with NPI and one of their swap. And then she has a DMC conversion. So I am still trying to decide uh, what I'm going to use. But if I can get this in time, I will also be adding this to my 12 by 12. The colors are awesome. So this is just a photocopy of her Instagram post but go over and check out Becca at Sambray Stitches. Um, she has some other great samplers that she's reproduced as well. Um, but I wanted to let everybody know about that. And also um, January 1st, I will be participating in a sal with some other people from um, the group that we formed from Jingle Ball. And we'll be stitching Maker and Mender by Brenda Gervais. So if anybody else is interested in um, stitching that, you're welcome to join us and others who are stitching that. And I will have to get back to you on what the hashtag is because I can't remember. I'll try to put it in the description box below. So in light of the giveaways, which is what I'm going to get to next, if you win this week's giveaway, I will be commenting on your comment that you've won and I will try to post it in the, um, I can post things on YouTube. So pay attention next around next Thursday um, for if you've had a uh, notification and that, you, that will be how I get in touch with you for winning uh, the giveaways. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and do this week's giveaway. If you won, send me an email at sweetwaterstitcher at gmail.com and with your name and address, and I will get it in the mail to you. Or if it's either the bag or the chart from Stacy, I will um, pass that information along to them. All right, so number one is the winner is Linda Lyle, L-I-A-L. And that was for Hannah's sampler, Linda Lyle. Number two was the bag from Sheba Designs. And the winner is Heidi Leinig, L-E-H-N-I-G. Number three was the pattern from Little Stitch Girl, Frost House. And the winner is Beth Visick. And number four um, was, there were two winners, and the first one is Susan Ruiz and Quilt Ma-Sue-Gooden. So if you were one of the winners, please send me an email and let me know your address, and I'll get that in the mail to you. And then for this week's giveaways, um, you need to like the video, subscribe to the channel, be over 18 and U.S. resident because I'm mailing these to you. And then also answer the question, what are you working on? So I'm curious if people who are, um, are people still working on Christmas? Are you done with Christmas and moved on? Are you stitching whatever still or, or kind of what are you working on? Or you can also put specific patterns too to give people ideas of things to work on. Um, but that's my question for this week. All right, so for number one, you are gonna win two charts and these are both from Screen Door Needle Works and they are compliments of Jennifer at Screen Door Needle Works. Um, one of them is Nativity and the other pattern you will win is Mary. So pretty. So that's number one. 
Number two, you will win two charts as well. One is Papa Noel, and then also Mary as well. So this is number two. Number three is a kit from Caterpillar Cross Stitch, um, Dash Away, and you get the floss, the chart, and fabric. All of this, this is number three. And number four is from a viewer, and this is Midnight Clear by Jan Hicks Creates. Really pretty. So this is number four. So again, if you're interested, make sure to write the number one, two, three, or four along with your comment, like, and subscribe to the video. Um, if you don't already have your the bell clicked for notifications, go ahead and click the bell. I will have the two videos coming out um, the next two weeks. And I am also going to try to throw in a video um, making the stitching mat for retreats. So to be notified, if you click the bell, it will tell you when I have a video. Uh, check out my Facebook group, Sweetwater Stitcher. Also the Facebook group I have with Alicia, the Flan fanciful flamingo. And that Facebook group is called hashtag SYS. 2023 so stitcher stash um and join me on instagram at sweetwater stitcher and i also wanted to mention about stitcher stash facebook group um because somebody was asking today they wanted to buy a bag and is that against the rules and um there really are no rules the purpose for us creating the group was to encourage people to stitch things that they have. Use the materials that you have in your stash. That's not to say that you can't go buy anything. You can't, if you have a pattern, you can't go buy the floss or the fabric or buy a project bag. Um, we just wanted to, the two of us wanted to be stitching from our stash and we thought we had heard other people saying they were interested. So we figured we would make the group, have some fun, interactive things within the group, make it an encouraging place to um, share patterns you have. And maybe if I'm stitching something, you have it and you wanna pull it out and work on it together. So um, that's just kind of the premise, stitching some of your whips, getting some of those finished, all of those things are what we hoped would come from the group. And already so many people have been posting in the group and it's a really fun place. So go check the group out. There is a question for my group and that group as well, and it's who's your favorite designer. So just make sure you're answering the question because we are checking when we're going to approve people um, just to make sure that it stays a group of stitchers and not um, other people coming in who are not interested in stitching. So I hope you guys will join us there. I hope you have a great week, get lots of stitching in, and if I don't personally come on here um, with not a pre-recorded video, I wish all of you Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, um, and I hope you have a great couple weeks, and I will see you in the new year. Bye.